Welcome back. The stranger somehow stopped you halfway to death after that fateful night. The news spread quickly. Masked man, your nemesis, went into hiding. The stranger approached you again. He said he knew the masked man's location, but that telling you would spoil the sportsmanship of the hunt. You didn't pay it much mind. You knew that if you took took enough money from him, he'd find you. Alright, so we're hunting the masked man. Then the stranger made an ominous request. He said that if you took a hundred lies, he would reward you handsomely. Alright. So I guess it's a bonus. Okay. The stranger asked if you'd met any of your enemy's enemies said he'd heard tell of an old man named Mary since he ran the gin mill and had crossed the masked man somehow tracking him down might put you closer to your target so we need to find Mary we need to ravage $65,000 worth of the masked man's property and Optional is to kill 100 for an infernal reward. So we're gonna do kind of do a lot of over map stuff here. Let's hit the Indian reservation, see what's up. The natives lived in a small and fertile area that had been given to them by the occupying forces. They were accustomed to trading with pale faces, though most not as pale as yours. <laughs> yeah. Let's trade goods. What's this? You sat by the fire and offered a bottle of whiskey. So we get a bottle of liquor. So we can actually do that. They're gonna do that. We're gonna check and see if the goods are here. So that's a lot of herbs. And drink root. And we're actually gonna go buy some liquor and trade liquor and see what we get. Go by or I think it had a bonus or something. Increase its maximum HP. I guess it's a temporary thing. If not, it's under price. So we got one. We got three for them. If if we can do it three times. If not, just. Alright, sat by the fire. We sat for a few hours drinking and smoking with the natives. Around midnight, real stories began to unwind. You heard tell of a sinister deity living in the forest and a totem representing it not far away. The natives lived in the Alright. So let's do it again. Another location popped up. Tale of old hermit who lived in secluded, but where it has, where it was he found a treasure of incredible value, but fearing the envy of others, he kept himself and was unable to enjoy his own riches. Okay, another location that's good. Another campfire tale. Man who took a nap in the shadow of a small tree. The smell of the sap kept him snoozing for weeks until the tree grew around him, burying him inside. Some nights, when the wind blew cold and there was no moon, they would say he could hear him wailing beneath the bark. Howling tree. Right, so that was it. Um, See what opened up. So we got the big tree and the hermit's hut and the Indian totem. Alright, so let's do this. Like the hermit hut. The hermit was filled with the was filled with the viable items, gold, the hut, sorry, not the hermit. Um gold and gems. Silent Joe, the hermit, was clearly off his rocker, but had an eye for quality goods. He asked if he could spare anything. 
He said, you want to spot to back you. Uh, he shot the man and looted his hut. Filthy order, you're, hold, you're doing him a favor. We're probably going to get a negative effect, but I want to do that. We just, uh, we're he's trying to get the optional award, too. So. You took what you judged to be fair and mountain valuables. I so got a hundred. Probably got a cool item or something, but. This was the tree the natives had been talking about. If you had the right tools, you could cut it down. So we need to find tools to cut a tree down. Beneath the totem lay a hoard of gold with precious stones and jewelry. The screaming eagle carved into the totem spoke. Possessed by a spiteful deity, it whispered that it wanted one of your companions, and that it would reward you greatly. I don't have any companions. So I don't want to take, I want to try to steal it. I'm not giving all companions if I get any. So. Alright, as you pocketed your blood money, the eagle suddenly attacked, damaging you severely. So I got coyote mark and shredded hand. Let's see what that does. So shredded hand. Severe hand damage reduces gun skill. So I have minus 10 aim and minus 1 HP. Let's go to gin mill. Arrive at the old old man Mary's gin mill to find the place ruined, deserted and covered in crates. The upper floor office remained suspended, but looked like it would fall apart any second. You figured you could grab one thing and get out. So you should get the should you get the money from the safe or the curious glass item on the table. I'm getting the money. So it's eighty gold. As you grab the cash from the safe, the floor lurched and a low rumbled heralded the office imminent demise. You leaped from the room as it collapsed into rubble on the floor below. You inspected the loot. Not a bad chunk of tin. So we got 80 gold. Ask the locals about. Oh, what's this? Bait trader. Didn't see that one before. The door is going to switch shop. Let's ask him. You asked stories. If you knew anything about what happened to Murray's gin mail. Well, that's what's complained that, or explained, that there was one thing that bothered the masked man. It was losing money. He started getting suspicious Murray was giving money. And when the masked man got suspicious, he didn't waste time wondering what to do. Mr. Dolores asked if he needed anything else. No, well, actually, let's see. I have a bunch of money now. I have two six shooters and a shotgun. I, don't, I really don't need anything else. Because that's only kind of be a close range fighter. Uh, maybe for someone else later. The natives live in a small rural area. I'll be off of that. Inquire about the old man. The natives knew many old men, but no Marys. They said, said the only white folk around those parts were the masked main thugs who poach from the nearby forest. Alright, so let's name my forest. Let's go check that. Forest in, in Indian country teemed with game more than the natives could ever catch, let alone eat, which made them easy pickings for poachers. The ground was riddled with their traps. On an unlucky day, you could disarm them and steal the bait. 
on a bad day, you'll catch a broken finger, a gashed hand, or worse. Maybe it would be simpler just to stake out the traps and wait for the poachers to show. Nothing like stealing from a thief. Yeah, we're gonna wait. Set up the ambush. Finally, the poachers showed you. You took, took them out like clockwork, except for one. At first, he refused to talk with some creative pain mismanagement. He took care of that. Once he knew you were serious, he told you, old man Mary was alive and had been captured. He said the masked man had left, left him with the rednecks living in Rancho Rojo, then paused for effect. Seeing your puzzled face, the poacher added silently, they eat people. All right, so we got Old man cannibal. Murray was taken to Cannibal Farm. If you could save him, Maybe that tough old bird could prove to be useful. And even if you failed, you'd still put a dent in the masked man's business. Alright, so you killed the burn and terrorized, but you still couldn't find much information on masked man, it seems. They still feared him more than you. Time to fix that. As you travel down a lonesome road, a trail of smoking gun, smoking ruins in your wake, an old man steps onto the road ahead. He knew you were going out for the masked man. Is a mercenary killing or something? He said that the masked man had taken something he was after. He didn't approve of your methods, but he appreciated your effectiveness. He wanted to join you. Yeah, more, more the merrier. Why not? Get the crazy eye. He'll fit in. All right. You soon learned that the old man was the meanest cuss that this region had ever seen until you showed up. That is. All right. So yeah, I got the rep. Our posse just grew. Plus one. All right. So this is Cannibal Farm. Oh, water tires are new. Let's check that out before we do the Cannibal Farm. Water tire was a linchpin in linchpin of Campbell's farm. You could have spilled the water and damaged the masked man's property, or you could have poisoned the water to weaken the Campbell's. Well, uh, there's gonna be two of us. I think we can handle it. I'm gonna smash it just to ruin the. He smiled as the contents of the tower spilled out and quickly disappeared into the parched earth. This wouldn't be enough to prevent the mass man's men from working, but their hard times would become even harder. So, all right, my reward went up. I didn't notice that earlier. I'm up to 16 people and 25,000 worth of damage. Let's do Cannibal Farm here. Farm looked innocent enough, but you knew better than to trust appearances. The cannibals had heavy sentries at the entrances. You hadn't seen a trace of Murray yet. Chances are they had him locked away somewhere. Let's go guns a blazing. <laughs> 